My name is Woods Wooten, and my favorite memory of high school was bringing the camel my senior year. My name is Harrison Michael Carter. My favorite memory of high school was meeting my lovely girlfriend junior year in AP US history. I will miss most about River Bluff High School, my friends, my teachers, and the administrators that have provided me with such a great learning experience. What I will miss most about high school is spending carefree time with my friends, but moreover, it will be the feeling of opportunity that I can do anything that I want with my life. A life cut short by a reckless decision. The lives of those I care for left fractured. Problems created by a selfish choice. Impaired driving destroys the lives of all parties involved. A story ended early, a family shattered and torn apart, friends left forever lonely, and a sinner left in a state of regret, grief, and penance. And if my life were to be taken abruptly by an impaired driver, there are many memories that would go unfulfilled. Opportunities buried in a metal box. Gone are the days spent on Lake Murray, letting the sun cook my chest. Graduation will become one name shorter, and it will be replaced by countless tears. There will be a yearbook in a box under a bed with a senior picture missing and in loving memory instead. I died on prom night by being T-boned at the 378 intersection. On April 6, 2019, I died driving home from prom while intoxicated. I swerved across two lanes of traffic and entered a head-on collision on Sunset Boulevard. If a drunk driver was to end my life, I would be missing out on a lifetime of opportunity for such a senseless mistake. My high school graduation would have no members of my family present and the world of my parents would be completely ruined. If I were to be killed by a drunk driver, my entire life's work of aspiring to do good for the community I love would be remiss. To my loved ones, I would like to say that I am sorry. This was my fault entirely. I made a juvenile and stupid mistake that cost me my life. However, I wish you not to weep for me. Be happy that you've been given the opportunity to live your lives to the fullest. The holiday season would have a tremendous sense of grief, and as for my favorite holiday, Christmas, my stocking would be empty. My friends are an extremely important part about my life, and I would miss them dearly, and I would miss out of the lifetime friendships that are ignited throughout college. I would miss my girlfriend and the memories that we have shared, and I would say that I would miss game day at University of South Carolina in the fall, as the crisp autumn air comes with a good time at williams Price Stadium. If a driver under the influence were to end my life that I'm so blessed to have, I would miss most the chance of starting a family and having a place to live so I can start my own path. April 6th would become a day of tradition. My friends would come spend time with me. I hope my grave is well kept, not flashy, but respectable. A prayer would be said, memories would be shared over lunch, spending the day knowing they would trade anything for a different reality. My mom will grow lonely, she lost her little man. My dad will turn forever angry, why did someone take his boy? Life goes faster than you think. We all rent this time together on earth, and sometimes it runs out faster than it should. And the question is, are you proud of the man that you were able to be? My life and the life of my killer will forever be entangled. He will carry a piece of me with him forever. I want him to forgive himself. I want him to know that I'm sorry my life mattered to people. It would have been easier if nobody cared, but they chose to. My life was cut short. I was unable to accomplish everything I wanted with breath in my lungs. Make my murder the last one. To my friends and family, and anyone who chose to care, I love you. Never feel alone. I'll be with you. I will see you soon. With love, M. Dylan Lonson.